Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button along with it so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to hit the like button around in that same area and leave a comment down below as well because all of those things definitely help my channel grow. Today for you, I do have a super fun collective haul, but before I get going on that, let's remember Frugal J and her son Joel because he is still working on getting better from the traumatic brain injury that he incurred, big, big words are hard, incurred um, six or seven months ago at this point. And Jay is still in Chicago there with her family. She has rented herself a little apartment so she could be close to her son and help him through his recovery. And um, she can use any help she can get. There is a GoFundMe link down in my description box. If you head over to her channel, she also has a cash app. And um, even if you just go and watch her channel, make sure you watch her ads because that way she gets paid. Because if you didn't know, that's how YouTubers make their money is from the ads or uh, just send her love and prayers because she is an amazing human being. So I just wanted to make sure to say that. Again, today for you have a collective haul and it's one of those times where it's just, I don't know, I love the season because there's Halloween, there's fall, there is Christmas, fun Christmas, and um, other stuff for like gifts. So I have Dollar General, Target, Ross, one thing from Amazon, and Five Below. I had to look it up my bags. So I have a lot of stuff to share with you, so let's get going. First of all, I only have one thing from Amazon. This is a gift for my best friend's daughter. Her birthday party was yesterday by the time you're seeing this. So I'm pre-recording this because I wanted to share the things I found, but um, uh, I wanted to give it to her too. So I ordered from Amazon this cozy blanket and it has all the Stranger Things on it. I don't know what that means exactly, but it has Stranger Things things on it. And it says, friends don't lie in the middle. Looks like there we have all the characters. I don't know the significance of a skateboard or Coca-Cola. There's a tape. There's a Gorgon Morgan. I know that those are called something else, but his name for me is Gorgon Morgan because I can't remember what the real name of that thing is. It looks like a, eating, a human eating flower, but Gorgon Morgan. Um, the Christmas lights, which I do know that's how you talk to somebody who isn't there. They light up the light by the letter or something and all the things. So I got that for her to be her main, her main birthday gift because Stranger Things is currently her jam and who doesn't love a, like a softy blanket? So sorry guys. Sorry about that. Um, moving along and staying in that theme, I've already hauled this. I just stuck them together. So this is the Gorgon Morgan and it says where not in Hawkins anymore. Hawkins is the school, I know that. The Gorgon Morgan eats the people or something, I don't know, but um, I got that already and hauled it. And I also, last time I went, picked this up too, and it's the Stranger Things sticker that just says Stranger Things. Um, these were $1.25, no, $2.25 each. You only get the one sticker in each of them that look like that. So I'm gonna add that to her gift. And so I thought she would like that. And at five below, I found this t-shirt and it says greetings from the upside down. And she is either in a medium or large. This, they only had a small or large. And I figure if it is 100% cotton, it, it's 90% cotton, 10% polyester. So it'll probably shrink a touch or she just gets a nice big t-shirt to wear. And I thought it was cute, the greetings from the upside down. So I'm adding that to her gift. And then I also hauled in a Dollar Tree haul recently a Shirley Temple drink that I thought was cute that I'm also adding to her gift. So I, that's what I got her for her birthday gift. Now also from Five Below, for the trunk or treat, I found a couple of things. Um, this I thought was neat. So it's a crystal meditation and tarot reading cloth. It unfolds to 22 by 22 inches. Um, and so I figure I'm going to utilize that somewhere in my trunk, either on the table that I am using and have my crystal ball on or hang it as like the background for my apothecary in the trunk or just hang it up somewhere. Um, I actually think it's fabric. I, when I bought it, I think I was thinking it was going to be like plastic, like tablecloth. No, it's fabric though. So even better. So I guess... 22 inches doesn't go very far so it's a little smaller than I was thinking but it was like two dollars and something cents I think 350 it was 350 for that so I mean 
it's cute it has the right colors and it goes just perfect with my theme and so I got that for the trunk or treat and then I wanted some tarot cards and when I looked at Amazon they cost more than I wanted to spend because I mean if it's your jam then you're willing to spend the money but it's I mean I'm using them for decor so I found them for the five dollars five yep yeah, five dollars at five below and so yeah I just thought that that was a good deal they had two two different ones when I was there two different sets and I picked these ones because I think I liked the pictures better and since I'm using them for decor I wanted the ones that I like the picture of um, if you're into it you get 72 cards it says it's a complete deck and that includes 22 major Ar arcana and 56 lesser arcana I don't know what that really means to be honest because like I don't do tarot readings I wouldn't be against like if I happen to be somewhere like getting my palm read or my cards read but I don't know how to personally do it myself and so it looks like this is the back of all of them which is also really pretty and it matches that cloth that I picked up and then you get like all these different readings and so I was thinking I might attach them to string and like kind of do some strings down with tarot cards um maybe get a board of some sort like a trifold thought board from dollar tree and like put a bunch of them on there and kind of have it you know setting in part of my apothecary in my trunk something like that but i just want to make sure i had them to use them as decor and whatever i use i'll be very mindful of like it'll be like light tape or something so that that way they can be reused and I'll probably gift them or something to someone who is interested in that kind of stuff because I mean might as well get use out of it after I'm done using it as decor and then lastly I did not lastly there's one more thing in there but for the trunk or tree I wanted um to lay out a rug in front of my table because everything that I've looked up for fortune tellers and tarot readers and stuff like it's very cozy and warmth and and rugs seem to make sense they didn't have anything in a purple scheme which is kind of where I'm going with it but I thought this would work out great and this is 36 inches by 60 inches so it's a decent size rug and I think that it's just a neat pattern on there and I think it'll work really well for my trunk or treat and it was five dollars and 55 cents so I thought that that was a deal I was like where can I go find like sorry I just want you guys an inexpensive rug and that 555 is perfect and then lastly from there from five below braxton's been needing a new wireless mouse because he goes through them i feel like like crazy i'm sure they wear out because i don't buy expensive ones and so he picked this one out it says it's a slim mouse it takes two AAA batteries and so he needs that for his school computer and we grabbed that so that is it from five below from Target. So I stopped at Target the other day. It was the day that I went shopping with my subscriber and we had a great day. Um, I wanted a coffee on my way to pick up Braxton because, you know, then I had to go and be a mom. So I grabbed a coffee, used their restroom and looked in their Target bullseye playground and found, found, found some of my wish list items and other things too. So this I found, and I think these are adorable. So you get eight cards. It was a dollar. So I'm just going to assume it's four of each print. Yep, four of each of those prints. I really like this coffee cup or hot cocoa one, which I might use in my, like use one as decor. And then I'll use the rest for Christmas cards. Last year I did a Christmas card exchange where I had you guys let me know if you wanted to get Christmas cards from me. And I think I'm gonna do that again. So I'll let you know when and then my email address and all that. So if you want a Christmas card from me, cause it was really fun and I love sending out Christmas cards. And I feel like like, not everyone does it anymore and I like to do it so um but these ones I thought were absolutely adorable so I picked those up this was huge on my wish list after I started seeing other people finding it and hauling it and showing it on Instagram and my brain said I absolutely have to find that and so when I did of course I scooped it up so this is five dollars basically it says it's a four count tear tray props cocoa and obviously it's like designed for a tear tray so you get the little cookies and then the i just want to bake cookies and drink hot cocoa and then their little hot cocoa sign and the small print says christmas blend hot cocoa served with marshmallows peppermint sticks and a little bit of north pole magic oh my gosh how cute and then you get the little like santa nomi guy 
and I don't do gnome so much but he is cute and he is teeny and he'll probably go on one of my tier trays because he's so darn cute to go with this little set so had to have that like I I was excited when I saw that now I am finishing up the gift for my sister-in-law and it is a coffee themed gift and I wanted this so bad for it um, I will say Jay from Frugal Jay is amazing. She found me one as well. And so I did reach out, let her know that I found it in case she didn't want to ship it to me, but she said she still is going to. So I'm going to keep one because I also really like it for my coffee bar. But um, this is what I'm going to use as the box to put in all the stuff that I picked up for my sister-in-law and brother-in-law for their wedding gift. And it's like just the whole little coffee bar set. So this is Home Brew and Company Coffee House. And I think that it is adorable and it's just really spacious and I think that it'll look really cute on any coffee bar. So Jay will be sending me one. I'm going to keep that one for my coffee bar and this one I'm going to give to my sister-in-law. Um, and now I think I have all the pieces so I can actually finally finish out her gift. Just a couple more things that I found. Um, again, speaking of my coffee bar, I found these. I'm going to put these out for my fall coffee bar. And... It's the little white mug. This one was $3. This is a small mug. And I know I heard people saying that, like, but it's a, this is a baby mug. So I will probably put something in it and use it just because, I mean, my cups of coffee are form. I need much more coffee than this. But the mug itself is so cute. So I might put something in it and just, like, really, it's just for decor. It's a decor coffee cup, but so cute. And then this, too. So this was $3. It is a one set sugar bowl. And so it just has the little spoon and the little like lid and it's a pumpkin and it is so cute. I don't know if I could easily open it. No, but so cute. Just a little sugar bowl. We're going to keep it together anyway because I'm not putting it out and then I don't have to worry about trying to track down all the pieces. So super excited to find that one as well. I saw it on people's Instagrams and I was hopeful. And then the last two items I found at Target are some little ornaments that are going to go on my cozy cabin Christmas tree in my new, you know, black and white room that I created last year. And my little ski thing is a little discombobulated. It's a little bit of a sketchy ski, um, ski lift because it's a little discombobulated. But how cute is this? It's a little ski lift. I get, yeah, you can see on there it's a little discombobulated on there, but... It's just going to go on a tree, so. And I, I think you just need to bend the metal a little bit to fix it. So cute. It's going to look so cute on my cozy cabin tree. This fits, it fits the theme so perfectly. And then this one I thought was too cute. It's got the little glitter on here. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. I like glitter. I know not everyone does, but I do. So it looks like it's glistening in the snow. It's got the little tree and it's just a little house ornament that will be perfect. It'll be perfect in that room. So those were both $1 and I picked both of those up. So that is it from Target. Now let me share with you the great finds I found at Dollar General. They were just putting stuff out. So they had a lot of empty spots. We looked through their Halloween. I grabbed some stuff from there. Their fall was, you know, decent, and then they were starting to put out Christmas. So I was able to grab a few things. My wish list from Dollar General for Christmas, though, is it's a big wish list. So for Halloween, possibly for the trunk or tree, I found this. It is a crystal crown, and it was $6. If I don't wear it, I'm just going to utilize it as decor with the crystals because I wanted crystals, but um, I don't want to spend the money. $6 was a little steep for this, too, but... If I could put this in my apothecary and just have it be like, you know, a row of crystals for that. So I think it'll work well as, as decor for my, ouch, trunk or treat. That has some wire sticking out. Ow. Um, sorry, tossing it, keeping it organized. For fall, I found the little beaded charms that they have there. They are $1 at dollar general and I found an A for Amber I was looking for a P for the last name that thing stuck me but I couldn't find any P's but I found an A for Amber so I thought that was cute so I picked it up and then I really liked this pumpkin that said fall on it and I liked the color of the beads on this one so I will do these on like tear tray and as decor when I put the fall decorations out 
Let me check and let me do fall all together. It's all mixed in in all the different bags. Then I found, I've already picked up one tablecloth, but I think I like this one better. So this is a 52 by 70 tablecloth and it has a bunch of pumpkin stuff on it. So the other one I had, I picked up has like trucks on it and I'm not big on like the truck theme. It's not like my super me, but this one I thought was really cute. So it says like morning pumpkin, um, but first pumpkin spice back here. Like you can see like a stack of pumpkins and it says hello fall. Um, and then a little coffee mug that says hello fall. So this just, this, this fits what my theme is in my kitchen. A couple different colors that I don't always use, but I think it'll all blend really well with fall colors. So I grabbed this. It was only $5. And I just thought that it worked well. It's the it's my favorite fall tablecloth I have found this year. And I kind of tend to decorate. It looks very um, like pumpkin patch is kind of what I call it. All right, everything else from Dollar General is Christmas. So let's show some of that. This was only $1. It is a little gingerbread cookie candle. And it's just a small little candle. And it smells really good like gingerbread, like really good. So picked that up for a dollar, like absolutely. Grabbed that. This I was super excited about. Oh. It is a little wooden spoon. So I always get like the spatulas and I have some spatulas that are, um, you know, decorated for Christmas. And this one has an engraving in it that says Christmas calories don't count with the little gingerbread. It's red at the bottom and it was only a dollar. And how cute is that, that Christmas calories don't count? So I'm going to put that in with my spatulas and stuff um, for Christmas. Love that. That was super exciting. And then sticking with the gingerbread theme, they had these little gingerbread cookie, but they're Christmas tree. And I got the three different ones they had. So they're very sparkly and the sparkle does fall off of these. But they had that one. And these are going to match something I picked up at Ross that I'm really excited about. That one, I think that one's my favorite. And then that one. So the three different little Christmas trees I grabbed. And then while I was there, I thought of my sister because I saw this. It was only $2. It's got the cute little wreath on it. It says Merry Christmas and it's the camper because everything camper makes me think of my sister. So I haven't, I shipped everything to her that I currently have. So now that's starting the collection of of new stuff and then I found some of these little items these little sleeping bags and these little shirts this one says oh snap with a gingerbread this one is like a vest with hot cocoa it's a little breezy I have my window open so I plan to use these props or maybe you know my little friends that Come see the kids every year, might find my stash of stuff and utilize those. And then lastly from Dollar General, I found these as well. And I did sit and debate these for, for a minute because I'm like, well, do I really need them? Does, you know, do the kids need them? What can I do? But I thought they were too cute. They're, they were only a dollar each set and they make little ugly sweaters. And I loved them all. So we got the Santa, the Christmas tree, the reindeer, and the snowflake. Like I don't even think I could pick a favorite of how cute those little ornaments are so um, maybe the kids will use them maybe not we will see so that one shows that they use the pipe cleaners like little hangers this one doesn't show that but they do both both sets have the set of pipe oh but this one uses the pipe cleaners on there so I have luckily extra pipe cleaners and they can all have little hangers so cute though so cute so that is the finds that I found at Dollar General. Now lastly is Ross, and I have a lot of stuff from Ross. So when we went to Ross, it was my sister, we did girls trip. So it was Lorelai and I, my sister-in-law who lives in Utah, but she came down to Colorado or over to Colorado um, to watch uh, my niece and nephew because their parents went to a wedding in California. So she came from Utah to watch them and she loves to shop and she's a bad bad influencer when it comes to shopping she's like yes yes you need it and i'm like yes i know i do and i'm already bad enough when it comes so we went shopping at ross we did a girls trip because lorelei was with us and baby daisy not daisy baby max um came with us 
And so we did girls trip and I have a bunch of her Christmas stuff because she was flying and so she couldn't pack everything. So she left it here for us to hold for her until she comes back for Thanksgiving and they're driving so she'll be able to get it back home easier than trying to fit it in her luggage. But first I'll show you the, the treasures I found and then I can share with you what Robin found because I have them. And I might as well show you all the goodies that right now Ross has. So those little trees that I got, the little cookie trees are gonna go perfect with this gingerbread house. This was originally from Michael's. And if you could see the tag from Michael's, it was $24.99. And then if you see the tag from Ross, I got it for $4.99. So, I mean, how do you not? How do you not pick it up? And I am doing gingerbread in my kitchen again, and this is gorgeous. I'm gonna put it up probably on my top of my cabinets because it is glittery, like I have a glitter mess. Um, I will try to spray it with hairspray, but it is so cute and it's got all the frosting details and I mean, I mean, I got it for $5. So they had several things that were from Michael's. I know my sister-in-law picked up a couple more things too that I will be sharing. Well, here, it's right on top. I'm going to open up her bag. It sings. So they also had, she is a collector of these little birds. Um, she usually gets them at Target, she said, but these ones are Michael's ones. And let's see, so it, from Ross it was $2.99. The Michael's, oh, that one doesn't, part doesn't say it. $12.99. It says $12.99 from Michael's. She got it for $2.99, this cute little birdie. And again, it's like one of the things she does in her house, so how perfect. And then she also found this double bird one and they hold lazily they hold this little banner that says Merry Christmas it just needs a little bit of tweaking because they need to be able to hold it where you can read it but how cute are these little birds and she got them I think that was five dollars she said and then she also got from this was a musical nutcracker for $12.99 it's a little musical nutcracker that moves his arms and stuff, but it goes on and on and on and on. So we're not gonna we're not gonna turn him on. And I don't know what the original price was because it doesn't say. But twelve ninety nine is a good deal for that. Let's save her bag so I can put everything back. And then the last item that she picked up that she kept was this. How adorable! So it says Merry Christmas. It was twelve ninety nine. They say their original price was twenty five. Who knows? But it says Merry Christmas. It's beautiful. And $12.99. So, like, so cute. And they had a black and white one. They had this red and white one. There was one that had green on it, too. So they had lots of options. But that was the one she picked up. And then now, back to my finds. I picked up this cozy blanket. It was $9.99. This is compare at $18. But I got it because the colors, this is the my living room or in like the pink and the, all these like bright colors for Christmas. And then it says on here, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And I thought that that was hilarious. So I'm gonna put this on our couch as our cozy blanket for the Christmas season. And again, the, the saying just cracked me up. Don't get your tinsel in, a tang tin tinsel in a tangle. So I loved that. And then oh, still, still have a bag of stuff. So many treasures. So this is a mixture of Christmas and fall because I found it all there. This I thought was adorable. So it was $6.99. You get the little rolling pin, the whisk, a cookie cutter, and this little teeny spatula that says give thanks. And I loved, loved that. So I picked that one up for Christmas. This was $5.99. How cute is this? So it says, oh, what fun set of three picks. Um, and it's a set of three picks. We've got the gingerbread boy, the Christmas tree, and then the um, official holiday baker cookie crew. I just thought it was so cute. Had to have it. Had to. So I picked that up from Ross. Back again to fall. I picked this up. It says autumn acres pumpkin patch. Pick your own. And then it has the different sizes of pumpkins or different varieties. So there's the baby boo for a quarter. We have the Harvest Blend for 50 cents a pound, Cinderella for 25 cents a pound, Casper White 10 cents a pound, Jack-O-Lantern 50 cents each, 
blue doll, 75 cents a pound. And then this is beautiful. So I had to have that because it just goes very well with my pumpkin patch theme. And then it even has the cute little tie up here, or it has the little spot that you can hang it on the wall with a nail. So love that. Love that a lot. I don't want anything to fall. Um, I found, jumping back to Christmas, this. This is a Peppermint Place Paint Your Own Wooden Cookies for Santa Kit. So wooden pieces, you get eight of them, two paint brushes, a little thing of paint, and some foam stickers that look like sprinkles. That got me right there, the thing that looks like sprinkles. But they have one that looks like a wreath. Of course, the gingerbread guy, that's what really got me. Um, snowman, stocking, snowflake. There's a Christmas tree in there and an ornament in there and a bell and a bell. So you just paint them. They look like little cookies. I thought that these would be cute in the kitchen. And so I will probably use my own paints to make them like look like cookies. Um, but thought that that was really cute and some crafting I can do. Um, and then oh, last Christmas Christmas item, I found this ornament. And I just thought this would be beautiful on my bright colored tree with all the little bells on it and the sparkle. It says all is bright. It was $2.99. It says handcrafted in India. That is amazing. And so I just thought that that was really pretty. I think it's missing a couple bells here and there, but I just think that it's the colors are beautiful on that and it's going to look really pretty on my col colorful Christmas tree. Um, I also picked up for my coffee bar not even for any particular holiday or anything, the butter toffee syrup. I always look at their syrups when I go to Ross or Home Goods or um, any of the stores that carry TJ Maxx, I think does, the syrup, the different flavored syrups. So this was $3.99 for the butter toffee and it just sounded really good when I picked it up. It's the Skinny Syrups, Jordan Skinny Syrup. So I thought $3.99 seemed like a good price because I feel like when I look online, they're always like six to eight dollars or something like that. So I felt like that was a good price. That's gonna go on my coffee bar. They also, right in that general area, had some pumpkin scones. So pumpkin spice scones, just add water, mix and bake. And it makes 12 scones. So I am going to bake those up here in the fall season. It sounds delicious. Have those for breakfast. And then lastly is a Christmas gift. Um, I got these for Braxton because he's like super into Fortnite right now. And this is the little Fortnite pinata guy. Don't know anything. Don't know a thing about it. But um, they were cute and they were $6, which is a lot for a pair of socks. But they're the name brand and, and what he's into. So picked those up for him for Christmas. So guys, whew, that is my collective haul. So many fun finds. I, I don't go to Ross very often and I need... I either need to stay away from them or go more often because the finds there were amazing. Like they were some great finds. Lorelai got some little uh, real littles. They're already opened in her stash and her, you know, little thing. She also got a cute little um, backpack purse and a new hoodie that um, has ramen noodles on it because like she's currently obsessed with ramen noodles. And so she got a hoodie that has like ramen noodles and stuff on it. If, nope. Nope, I probably, uh, if she brings it back, if I can get a picture of her in it, I'll set it, like, I'll do a picture of her in it, um, because by Monday, I have her all weekend, so if she comes back and she has it, and I can't, I'll give you a picture, I'll show you a picture of her new hoodie, um, but so many great finds at Ross, it was so fun to go shopping there, especially with my sister-in-law, like, it was just a really good little girl's trip going shopping, so thanks again, guys, for being here, I can't wait until I see you next time, keep an eye out, I have some more Dollar Tree items, so I can't wait to share those with you, some amazing finds there, so watch later this week for that, and I will see you guys next time, bye!